people in here and I tell all my students all the time like when, get, when they get nervous I'm like just channel that nervousness into performance energy so today I'm actually feeling that so I'm gonna take my own advice today and we're gonna have hopefully some fun here in the next few moments um, my name is Doc Harrell aka on the street known as DJ Doc by all my students and uh, most people that I know actually know me as DJ Doc um, I grew up right here around Cleveland in a suburb called Mayfield Heights. Moved to South Collinwood for 10 years and then to Glenville with my wife, Ann, over here. Beautiful lady. Um, where we've been for the last approximately 10 years. And today I'm just gonna kinda share a little bit of my journey as a hip hop artist. I'm 41 now, so I guess that makes me an old school uh, hip hop head. And luckily, the students, they still think I'm somewhat cool, so I'm trying to maintain that coolness as I age and gain wisdom. So um, really looking forward to this. So let's just dive in, I guess. Um, I started, I'm the director and founder of Refresh Collective, and um, we started right, right over here in Glenville, right very close to here. Our mission is to refresh the heart of the city one song at a time. And um, I really actually like this image here because uh, of the heart, refreshing the heart of the city. And I'm gonna, we're gonna go into that a little, like wh why some of the hearts in the city need a little courage and support. And who, anyone ever watch Wizard of Oz? <laughs> so remind me again, like who are the main characters and what did they not have? There's the scarecrow, obviously, and he didn't have a brain. Then, the who? Okay, the Tin Man did not have a heart, and then, and, and then what? And the lion had no courage. How about that? So, just this is this is really making me reflect, particularly on the Tin Man, and that heart that he did not have, and I'm reflecting on a lot of young hearts that are hurting, um, that need healing, and they need some courage, just like that lion. So we're going to talk a lot about courage today. Um, okay, just to start off before we kind of dive in. I was a very shy kid in high school, and most of my students would not believe me when I tell them that. I was the shyest kid. Um, but hip hop gave me voice, and the power and articulation of hip hop lyrics caused me to really dig deep to see what's inside here that I wanted to share with the world, kind of courageously. That gave me the kind of power to get up in front of people and put my message out there. Um, so hip hop gave me courage, and. I try to give that gift back to youth all across the city. I'll tell you more about that. But a friend of mine, he, told, he kind of broke down the word encourage to me one day. That really made it real to me. If you study kind of like the history of the word and everything and kind of split it between the N, which means to cause to be in, and the courage. We actually can, by what we do and what we say, and I've experienced this day in and day out with students across Cleveland, is you can literally, through your words, put courage into someone else that needs it. And that's what all of you guys do and can do. And we can be a part of that. We don't need the Wizard of Oz, whoever. I don't even know how they ended up getting the heart back, the head, the guy at the end, or the witch. I forget. <laughs> but we actually can do that. So uh, lion, thinking about lions. Actually, you know what? I just want to see if you recognize the sound. You know what that is? That's a lion roaring. So how do humans roar? Think about that. <laughs> true, true. That, that could be, that could be true. Um, one of the kids one time was like, yell, you just yell and scream and cuss at someone in their face when you're mad. Like that's how humans roar. But actually what I want to suggest 
um, on a creative morning, is one of the most important ways that humans roar is through our creativity. This is like we were created to be able to create. And so um, lions, they don't, they can't, I mean, they're creative in just the way they sit there and their hair is real beautiful and everything, but we can create. And so people throughout history, artists have gotten uh, murdered, jailed because of paintings they painted, because of sculptures. The, the music that's created can cha has changed so societies. And hip hop is, a, is like, to me, the best example of a form of music that those songs represent the roar of people who are looking at their surroundings and saying something's wrong, we want to make it right. Um, roar can even be a love, like, I, you know, it's like rawr. <laughs> so lions communicate through roar and we could do the same thing. So my question to you today to think about is what is your roar? Because if by the end of this few moments, if you are a little more courageous to do your own roars, then it was worth me being here today. That's, why, that's my hope. Uh, okay, here we go. So uh, this is where I need y'all's help, okay? When my microphone goes out like this, you probably know what I need you to do, right? I need you to roar. Okay, let's practice one time. You ready? Here we go. Yeah, this is how we roar. We compose the score and let our words energize the dance floor in order to right some wrongs and settle the score. We courageously write pages and roar through the door. We roar. Y'all ready for this? Come on. This is how we This is how we roar. Ruh, ruh, ruh. Hey, hey. From analog to digital media. Check the residual, is the music feeding you? It's kind of pitiful commercials leading you to spend your minimal time and money while they're peeling you. They'll take advantage of us if we don't manage and critically listen to the sound waves doing damage. Pay attention to the lyrics wrote and every message propagated. Make sure to take note, let's battle this. More than ones and zeros become a catalyst. One level below a hero. Some bark when they're real scared, but when we see something, we need to speak or we roar without fear. Y'all ready for this? I need y'all to roar. This creative morning. Let's go. Here we go. Check us out. This is how we we compose the score and let our words energize the dance floor in order to right some wrongs and settle the score. We courageously write pages and roar through the door. We this is how we uh, This is how we roar. Ruh, ruh, ruh. Check this out. Let's hear that original. Some call it weird. I call it being bold and not scared. Can y'all hear that? Can you comprehend the sound of confidence that's not pretend? I'm steady listening for whispers in the wind, breathing into me the ability to defend all that's right and all that's fresh. Watch out when your priorities are put to the test and your principles attacked and looted. Never let your conscience be uprooted. Stand firm as a lion on the mountaintop, looking out at the city with this roar through hip hop. Hop, hop, come on, y'all. I need y'all to roar as loud as you can. Here we go, come on, come on. This is how we roar. We compose the score and let our words energize the dance floor in order to right some wrongs and settle the score. We courageously write pages and roar through the door. We roar. Let me hear y'all. This is how we roar. Uh, 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 roar. Come on, let me hear y'all. This is how we roar. Hey, this is how we roar. So I know that um, everyone in here has what I'll call a seed. I, I call it a seed of faith. It's, an, it's a creative idea. It's a way you were wired, and when you look at the world and say, I wanna see this change happen. A lot of times is, is we see these big mountains and we're like, how can we ever change this problem? It feels hopeless. But if we can start with a small seed, and by faith we put it out there and plant that seed, it takes courage, but let's plant that seed and watch it grow, and it takes time. And I just wanna kinda share what was one of my seeds of faith in my neighborhood in Glenville. It took a few years living there, wanting to reach out to the youth, the teenagers that I was meeting just across the street from me. Um, I wanted to give them something special, but it took time to build trust. Um, and then finally in 2009, 
we did our first Fresh Camps, hip hop summer camp program, a two week camp, free for any students in the neighborhood, with the goal of helping them create their own songs that represent their roar, what they wanna see in, their neighbor, in our neighborhood together. What can we do together? Let's make songs about it and let them know that like, you can be that leader, no matter how young you are and no matter how small you start. Um, and so I'm gonna tell you a, just a small story through a song about something we did with our fresh camp. We uh, wanted to plant a garden at Mary Bethune Elementary School. My sister, who's right over here, was a big part of that. And actually, Linnea Mitchell, she was uh, tending these little seeds, actual seeds, in our house where they stayed on the third floor with a grow light for several months. And then it came planting time. So we engaged a bunch of students at Mary Bethune Elementary School to build this garden, put a lot of work in. Um, and then came the day during camp where I think Linnea took a couple of students up there. They planted half the seed. The, the, well, they weren't seeds now. They were small plants. Seedlings, sorry, seedlings. And they transplanted them outside. Two day, a couple days later, it was just the first day of camp, and we brought all 20 kids up there, and we're going to plant all the rest of the seeds. We find out that someone had already, within less than a week, dug up every last one of those seedlings that Linnea was caring for. Um, and our hope really sunk that day. And we said, is this how it's gonna be? Here we are trying to do something good and bring food into our neighborhood, into this food desert, and it's already messed up. So um, it was kind of tough. And this is that story. This is the story of that seed. From a seed I was cared for. No one around, there was a light. No reason to be scared for. Then the giant gentle hand pouring water daily was like a plane transporting me, but like a baby transplanted outside into a deep crater. With a soft, tender touch, she said, see you later. After a long while, with no visitor, suddenly my new home was shaken. Was it her? They grabbed my neck and I was strangled and left to die. My roots will never grow again, stuck on my side. Couldn't breathe, couldn't drink the water. I saw my friends and family scattered, thought it was over. But then I heard some laughing, and they were telling jokes. Was it the pyramids coming to steal remaining hope? But I was lifted, a familiar voice said, put it air. Looks like a new home for me. The coast is clear. They sprinkled some water directly to my roots. Maybe one day my dreams will really come true. I'll grow up tall and produce real pretty fruit. Be an heirloom tomato plant with real tasty juice. And then I heard the kids shout, grow. The teacher said, grow. The neighbors said, grow. We all said, grow. Together we grow. This is how we grow. It's the only way to grow, 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 grow. Let me hear you, come on. The teacher said, the neighbor said, the member said, creative morning said, we all said, together we grow, 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 grow. Check this out. This plot right here has, says grow real big on it, and we said, we planted it right here, knowing this could get destroyed, but we said, we're gonna grow anyway, no matter what, because this is how we grow. The teachers said grow, the students said grow, the neighbors said grow, together we grow. This is how we grow, creative mornings, come on. Hey, this is how we grow. And that garden is still producing a lot of fruit and vegetables. Um, that song has a double meaning in it. I kind of talk from the seed's perspective, and then for a while you think, is he talking about an actual kid? And then at the end it's like, no, tomato plant. It's tomato plant. <laughs> um, but I just want to tell you something else that happened on that same street right across from the elementary school, which is the street that I live on as well. Um, one of my students, fifth grader, got shot. And uh, luckily, in this case, he lived. The bullet stayed stuck by his spine. He couldn't play sports after that. Um, and we just try to rally around it and try to support him through it. Uh, so that seed, that song can go both ways and does go both ways. We need to nurture those seeds and watch them grow and help them thrive. Um, here's, I got a few pictures just gonna show. These are some of our, some of our older students, um, a part of our t-shirt uh, silk screen uh, thing that we do. And just the messages that we are trying to put out there to the world and the roars, the things that we deal with in our neighborhoods and, and that we want to speak out against. So obviously, gun violence is a big topic. And I was just working with a, uh, a ninth grader in a school this, this past couple weeks. And here's the lyrics that she wrote. 
um, I was out like a light in my bed when my grandma came to me and said, I'm sorry, but your daddy is dead. Couldn't contain all the feelings in my head, didn't know what to do, I just cried. I had to put my feelings to the side and be strong for my mother and my brother and my sisters and take care of my family. So then this is like a ninth grader, eighth grader. In the streets, they're treacherous, like a beat adventurous. Be careful, because they're dangerous. They took my dad, they was hating us. Calling the devil, they're betraying us. We ain't a dragon, but they're slaying us. And that's how I found out that her dad was murdered in class, just hearing her lyrics. Because their songs are their roar. And we need to listen to the songs and the music that, and the things that our kids are saying and empower them. Another thing that we deal with is a lot of the teenagers I work with, I say, um, how many of you guys think police officers are good people? Most of them are good people and, and you would trust them. 90% of them usually in the classes I teach in are like, heck no, I don't. I don't believe that at all. Um, so we have a campaign and this is one of our shirts here. We are all on the same side and we help the students sit down with police and talk to them and be courageous to tell your side of the story and listen to the other side of the story so we can come closer together. And I'm just kind of breezing through a few different things from our students right now. Here's another one from this, um, working with these students right now in the ninth grade. I wish I was special. I wish I was loved. This life isn't enough. And it's all about suicide. Now those four students, I don't know. Did they just write this because they know suicide's a problem? Or is one of them or more of them actually contemplating that? And that's what, why this song came out. Um, and I don't always know that. But we need to listen to the things they're saying because it very well can be true. And there are, have been other times when it was actually definitely true. Um, so here's one of our messages, and I've said it probably in different ways already. This is together, this is how we grow. Let us unite. It's about coming together. Um, and here's our CD, that one of the CDs we created um, about gun violence and lead paint. I have another song to share and tell a little bit more of my own personal story. Um, so I wanna share these last lyrics here from my neighbor, actually, one of my students, a good friend, and he's been a neighbor, I've known him since he was 12. We did a project together where we, um, we went up and down our street and interviewed like neighbors and said questions like, why do you live on this street? Do you want to continue living here? What can we do to make our neighborhood vibrant, safe, and healthy? A place that we want to be. And um, after interviewing them, we all came up with themes uh, to kind of paint that picture of what our neighbors are thinking. Um, and so it turns out that him and I wrote kind of, a, his song and mine were like yin yang in a way. Uh, my song is called Trust Belt City, and I'll talk about that in a minute. His song was called Can't Trust. Um, and so he just, here's just a little bit of his lyrics. Can't trust nobody else. It's a singing part, so I, I'm not really a singer, but can't trust nobody else. Feeling how I'm feeling, can't trust myself. It's something inside me, I need help. I need somebody, I need help. Ain't it sad how you think somebody's got your back? Now you're staring at your only friend, and he's the one who's got the knife in his hand. Can't leave the house without locking the door. Put your money in your purse before you leave the store. That's how it goes, and everybody knows you can't trust nobody. There's no hope in that. And I think without hope, how could we have courage? Courage is really the outflow of hope. Um, if I'm a lion and something's wrong and I don't have any hope, like, I'd probably run. But when I have hope, I'm gonna stand up and roar and protect my family, protect my neighbors, and protect those little seeds that are next door to me. But this verse here has no hope. Um, and I, one of the, I guess, things that I found out was uh, when, you don't, when, you, when you don't have hope, don't give up because it takes time. I've had experiences in my neighborhood um, where I've lost hope, but, I, but it's like sticking through and seeing it through to the end. You watch that seed grow, just like that garden. Um, 
So Cleveland is a Rust Belt city, one of the Rust Belt cities, right? And um, our city's been through a lot, economic changes and everything in the Rust Belt. My grandfather and father, blue collar workers, and they taught me a lot of grit, a lot of hard work. Like just this work ethic that they gave it to me. Um, what I found out with my students in, in my neighborhood in Glenville is that that same hard work is, the, is what it takes to actually build trust with neighbors to start finding that hope and having that courage. So I just want to share this song as, um, this, is, this song is a real big part of my own personal journey. And if you guys learn it, you can sing it with me a little bit, but to talk to someone who's different than me in my neighborhood, it takes courage. They might reject me, they might misjudge me, and that's happened. But I've learned you gotta push through. We gotta go from Rust Belt City to a Trust Belt City. It's real hard to know your neighbor. We gotta go from Rust Belt City to a Trust Belt City. Especially when they look at you all mean, like, we gotta go from Rust Belt City to a Trust Belt City. But push through and get to know them, ask some questions. See, but in Cleveland, tell me, how are we gonna build that trust? It's hard earned in a cold world tough. Rumors of war and love turning rust. Tried many times to connect but got crushed. Gotta come back, blood, glory, and guts. No one said it's easy, only that it's a must. That's why we making these real fresh cuts. If you ain't turn up, everybody build trust. Trust, trust, trust. Trust hard to come by. I met this one guy, and he was saying, you can't trust, so keep your one eye open, always scoping just to make sure they don't lie. If you're trying to relax, man, don't try. The rust belt dealt a blow to the mental state. Our work ethic is hectic when we stay up late, trying to get ahead of the next man. And release paper, gas, phone, electric, and food before it gets canned. Post-industrial economic decline. Got our city in a hard knock state of mind. So here's a little story that I'd like to suggest about how a tough neighborhood can turn out fresh. Hey, when strangers turn family, danger is burning gradually. You build a new foundation like neighbors who live in happily. Knowing each other's name is like the first part. When it goes deeper, you can borrow jumper cables for a fresh start. Backyard barbecue didn't mean to startle you. You the new neighbor, so come over and enjoy a few minutes in this quick race. Life at this fast pace won't last longer when we first are in the last place. So sit down for a minute at a time, enjoy some tea or some wine, and get to know me, you'll find a little trust. Hard earned in the cold world, tough. Rumors of war and love turning rust. Tried many times to connect but got crushed. Gotta come back, blood, glory, and guts. No one said it's easy, only that it's a must. That's why we making these real fresh cuts. If you ain't turned up, everybody build trust. I put the work in, trying to be trustworthy. Never want to let them down when I'm in a hurry. I slow down my roll for a minute at a time before I got to go clock in and go ahead and finish my grind. Now I might not trust you with my daughter or my wife or my password. Keep it blurred, wallet like tight. But rest assured that it's a friendship you seek will find. Building bridges of trust will sure improve our lives. In our neighborhood, we need to know everyone's name to find that everyone's the same. A good community's our aim. We got to work through issues. It's not easy at all. See if we pass. All the holes in the wall, the cynicism turns trust. Hard earned in a cold world tough. Rumors of war and love turning rust. Tried many times to connect, but got crushed. Gotta come back, blood, glory, and guts. No one's to this easy, only that it's a must. That's why we making these real fresh cuts. If you ain't turned up, everybody build trust. I'ma navigate variable heights and stereotypes Push through preconceived ideas of blacks and whites In different places where different races see different situations From points of view like the attic or basement Displacement happens when we gentrify I got the sense that the census is rank is high He raised the rent, the money split up, and he fence is high Move in, forced out, how can we trust? We try Not all problems get solved, that's when you switch in economy So we build an integrity and relational equity And after all the hard work, we'll see where the heart lands It's like a a lot of practice together can make a good band. So we spread in lights like we're park hands. And after all the hard work, we'll see where the heart lands. I'ma pull my guts up until my presence is felt. Working overtime to make sure I earn it on the notch on my trust belt. Trust belt. Come on, trust. Hard earned in a cold world, tough. Rumors of war and love turning rust. Tried many times to connect but got crushed. Gotta come back, blood, glory, and guts. 
No one said it's easy, only that it's a bust. That's why we making these real fresh cuts. If you ain't turn up, everybody build trust. Trust, 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 come on. Trust, 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 come on. finished uh, but yeah it took it took time it took effort don't give up it takes time to build trust those different than you and we got to give the youth voice but what I, my question for you is what's your roar because each one of you guys have that creativity that dream that thing that you just wanted to start just put it out there because you never know how big it's gonna grow you might have that business idea you might be a painter you might be making some yummy food back there. We all have that difference that we can make. We all know a teenager down the street. And you never know how your words can put that courage into, the, into their heart and help them grow past the things that they're dealing with personally. I've seen it happen. Worked with over 4,000 kids, helped them make over 350 songs. And if y'all, you can hear them on our website, refreshcollective.org, if you want to gain even more courage and hope, just listen to their music and you'll definitely gain some. Um, but it takes time, past disappointments. I think I'm gonna open up for question and answer here, but I just wanna be honest one time, just tell one quick last story. Um, this is a story about me after I did the Fresh Camp uh, two years in a row in our neighborhood. I was at that time the only white guy on our street that was not a college student. And um, we did the, did the hip hop camp. We were at the market. The kids were performing their amazing songs. It was 20 students from the neighborhood just bringing so much positivity and energy. <clears throat> and I was so proud of them. It was a tough two, it was a so hard two week camp, just running camp. It was about to be over, this big celebration. And I'm flying high, I'm just like so proud of the kids and everything. And then the, the head of the market came, came up to me and she's like, hey, um, a couple of the vendors, they, they wanna talk to you afterward. I'm like, because you said the N-word on the mic. <laughs> and I'm like, they thought that I was saying the N-word on the mic? In the context of everything that was happening here and the togetherness that was happening? And that was just a shot to my heart because I'm like, who, how many and, who, uh, and what other parents, adults and vendors in my own neighborhood like think that? Like, that made me just want to curl up inside of a like, tunnel and hide. Um, and I had to talk to them afterward. And I just knew I could not tell them I did not say that. The only thing I could do was apologize and say, I'm sorry that it sounded like I said that. Because I, under I, I totally understand why they might think that. And so for me, wherever we find ourselves on the front line of racism, uh, hate, misunderstanding, those front lines, that's where the battleground is. And if we shy back because we're gonna get hurt, no, I have to be courageous and say, you know what? I'm sorry that you, that you heard that. I'm still gonna be standing here and I might have to prove myself a time or two because of what you've been through that I don't understand. And through time, um, year in, year out, building trust in the neighborhood, it, it's way different now. But it, it took pushing through that to get to where we are now relationally and build that trust. And that's what that song came out of. Feel free to go on the website and listen to the song, download it, and play it for someone else. But what is your roar? And I just want to throw this up here too. Some of you guys, if you wanted to make a difference in the lives of some of the youth in Cleveland, you could actually help send a student to Fresh Camp. We're in Buckeye, East Cleveland, and Glenville. And where you guys support, where you spend your money, buy coffee, where you invest, where you give, that's, enough, that's how we roar. That is our roar, to make a difference. And every time we decide where we're gonna shop, we are actually making a difference. So um, be courageous out there. That is my, my presentation, and I'm so glad just to be able to share with you guys from my own experience, my own heart, and I hope that something was, um, that you were encouraged today, somehow. Yeah.